Hello and welcome back to another video of AutoCAD Plan 3D with the experts. My name is Edmundo Maia. I'm a technical support specialist at Autodesk. Today's video will be covering equipment, tips and tricks about how to work with equipment in AutoCAD Plan 3D. But before we start, uh, if you got here and don't know yet uh, the official AutoCAD YouTube channel, you just need to go to uh, youtube.com and then uh, in the search bar, just type uh, AutoCAD channel, hit enter, and then the first option that will show up is the official AutoCAD YouTube channel. So here you can subscribe to keep updated for new uh, releases. And then if you go to the playlist tab, we are going to find playlists about uh, AutoCAD and also about each uh, two sets of AutoCAD, mechanical, architecture, MEP, and also for the Plan 3D video blog series. So if you click and view full playlist, we have here the playlist with all the videos that were published on this uh, blog series. And then if you we scroll up a bit, the video uh, 14, is the video about equipment as well. So in this video, uh, you are going to find an overview about how to create, modify, and customize different equipment in AutoCAD Plan 3D. So I would recommend you to watch that video first and then afterwards watch this video, okay? So in Plan 3D, uh, you can just create an equipment by clicking on the Create Equipment uh, button on the ribbon. And then in this case, I selected the vessel equipment, okay? So this is a parametric uh, equipment that you can place in your product. And once you have that equipment, if you click on that, you see that you have uh, one nozzle that was automatically uh, placed at the side of the equipment and one in, in the, at the bottom of the equipment. And then if you click on the nozzle, you can edit it by default. The radial option will be selected and you can change these predefined uh, dimensions of your nozzle. But also, if you click down in this drop down list, you see that you can change it to the top or to the bottom. Or you can also add a nozzle to a nozzle. Okay. <laughs> and you can use the option line. So this is the option that we are going to be covering here now. So with the option line, you can, for example, I'll just change here to 2D wireframe. And you can, for example, use a line as a guide to have a, a, a nozzle in a unusual direction, okay, in AutoCAD Plan 3D. So, I'll draw now a line using the existing nozzle as a reference. So I'm drawing this uh, horizontal line, okay? So now that we have this line, I'm going to get another line and snapping the end point of this line and from this end point if you will look from the top view we can place it in any direction that we need so I will use here for example 45 degrees okay So here we have our line to guide us, and then we can uh, delete the internal line that we use it just as a reference, go back to a realist. And then now, if we click again in the equipment and just click to add a nozzle, we can change from radial to line, and then click on select line. Once we select the line, you can change the length of the nozzle that you want to add. 
and then hit enter and the nozzle will be automatically created with the line as a guide okay you can delete the line because you don't need it anymore and as you can see now you have a nozzle in a completely different uh, direction different from the standard nozzle that will be always 90 degrees from the equipment okay so that was the first uh, tip and now let's say that if you go to the modeling uh, tab we have an option of uh, basic modeling features and here we have uh, for example the e-sphere and if you need on this uh, equipment an extra compartment okay we are not going to use it as a standard equipment and we need this extra compartment in the top of this equipment so we can just add this 3d model 3d part okay and then use the command attach equipment click on that click on the equipment and then click on the 3d model that you want to add and then hit enter now that 3d uh, part was added to the equipment and they are now just one uh, component and you have uh, the equipment edited as you wish okay so let's say that after afterwards you don't want to have it anymore so you can use the detach equipment feature so you just need to select the equipment and hit yes so now they were split and you can just delete that uh, extra compartment uh, that you added okay so now going back to modeling you can for example draw a cylinder in the middle of in the middle of your uh, model to create a custom uh, equipment okay you are not going to use one of the uh, equipment that comes with plan 3d so you are going to have a block based equipment so once you have the design as you you want you just need to click on that and then go into the home tab again you have this option convert equipment you click on that and then click on the equipment and then hit enter and then you select what type of equipment will be so in this case i will use tank okay now you have just have to select a point in the equipment as a reference okay and then hit okay now that 3d solid it was converted to equipment and you can add nozzles to this equipment so for this option uh, this example i will add a nozzle in the center of this equipment pointing upwards here you can change the type of the equipment okay and you can just remove or edit the position of that so now we have a nozzle at the top and you can route a pipeline from that nozzle but uh, let's say that although you need to have a custom equipment you would like to have a nozzle as a standard equipment that comes with plain 2d okay instead of have that flat nozzle so what you can do is you can just create another equipment a scripted equipment from plan 3d like i'm doing now so i'm just placing this vessel and then i'm going to use the explode command select the equipment hit enter and now we have split that equipment into 3d solids so we can just delete the main body of this 3d solid and then we have those two nozzles so i'll delete the, this one this we are not going to use and i now have this nozzle that we can use and add to the custom equipment so i'll use the export command again click on the equipment and now it's not the equipment anymore it's just a block
Now I'll draw a line, okay, to use as a reference to place the nozzle exactly where I want to have it. So uh, I'll place it on the front face of this uh, model. Okay, so we have that line now to guide us. Then I'll use the command explode again to explode that nozzle and make it a 3D solid, okay? So it's now a 3D solid that can be selected. And then I'll change to a 2D wireframe just to have a better view of the line that we have created. And then I'll use the command move to grab the nozzle. So I'll select the center of the nozzle here and move it to the end of the line that we just created as a reference. So we have the nozzle placed. I can delete that line that we are not going to use anymore. Change back to realistic. And now here, if we go to the modeling tab again, we have this union command that uh, we can use to combine those two components. So we just need to select them. Okay, it doesn't, it didn't work at the first try because one of the commands probably is still a block and not a 3D model. So if you see, this is a 3D solid and this is a block. So we can just explode it again. Select it, hit enter, and now both of them are 3D solids. Okay, we can use the common union again, select the first and the second 3D solid, hit enter, and now they are just a unique 3D solid that we can use to create our equipment. So use the common convert equipment again, select the 3D solid, hit enter, select the type of this equipment hit ok and we have the equipment now we can add the nozzle to the exact point where we created that nozzle and that's it now you have a custom equipment but with a nozzle as it would be uh, standard equipment from Plane 3D, okay? And you, your 3D will look better than before. You have a nozzle to connect to your components, to your pipeline. So now, the last uh, tip that we are going to cover on this video is to how to convert an inventor equipment and add it to Plane 3D, okay? So here in inventor, you can see that we have this uh, very detailed uh, equipment and if we go to the Environments tab, then in the Environments tab, click on Bean Content. And then in Bean Content, we can just click on Pipe Connector. So here in Pipe Connector, we are going to select the system type. So in this case, as an example, we'll select Other. And then here in Other, we can select where that part will be placed. So uh, in this case, I'll select this front part and then we can change the direction of that. And then it will be exported to Plane 2D, the nominal diameter. Okay, in this case, it automatically adopted the 100 millimeter diameter. And now, so the connect type. The connection type here can be, for example, flange. And okay. And then we have our part placed, okay? And then we are going to use this command to make the actual uh, inventor model smaller and easier to handle in Plan 3D. So we go to the Create tab. You can change the name of this model. You can select where you want to place it. And then you select this uh, first option, uh, Single Solid Without Sims. And then click on OK.
uh, you can see that the that three three uh, D model were uh, was simplified, and now we just have a simple three D model. Okay, and you can use now the common export building components. Select where you want to save it, and select Autodesk Exchange file. Okay, it's very important. So I'll save it on my desktop, and I I will call it the pump test plant, and click on save. So now uh, Inventor will process and export it to Plant 3D. We can just hit no here. And then going back to Plant 3D now, we can just click on that command, convert inventor equipment, select that exported file, hit open, and place it on our 3D model, okay? And you can select what kind of uh, equipment will be. So in this case, it's a pump. And you can see that the nozzle that we have created in Inventor was automatically exported to Plan 2D. And you can route a pipe from this nozzle. In this case, we can just we just need to change the nozzle settings to an, uh, a pipeline. That's comfortable with this product, so we just need to change the pressure class to 10. And now we will be able to rotate, it, and you can use that inventor equipment in your Plan 2D product. So that's it. Please stay tuned for more videos about AutoCAD Plan 2D, and thank you for watching. Have a good one.